everyone and welcome to my youtube channel my name is abisola oluojo and i film about faith family and lifestyle as a nigerian mom living in australia i also share my migration stories and experiences since relocating over four years ago on this channel i also share personal development tips that have helped me so far in my journey in life so if you're new here welcome to the channel please consider subscribing and if you are returning thank you all so much for your support i see all that you do and it means so much to me i am very grateful thank you all so much so in today's video i want to talk about self-improvement in your 30s since 2030 a few years ago i have become very intentional about everything i do as far as my life is concerned so if you're interested in hearing what i have to share definitely keep watching so the first on my list today and what i want to talk about is friendship for me friendship is a big deal and being a woman i can relate with the fact that it gets dramatic sometimes <laughs> i've heard men saying that friendship is something that is too complicated for women and i think that's just because we are wired differently than men right we are more expressive sometimes we overthink things we overanalyze analyze things sometimes so that's why i feel like since turning 30 i'm more deliberate about my choices as far as friendship is concerned so for me it's more about quality than quantity the quality of my friendship means so much to me i don't think i have so many friends right now but i have a few special ones that i never want to lose that friendship with them so what i would say as far as that is concerned is your values what are your values what values do you hold dear this is what you this is what should come to mind when you're thinking of friendship i don't want friends that don't add any value to me i don't want friends that don't understand me or celebrate me or push me to be a better person i want friendships that inspire me friendships that i'm celebrated in those friendships um women in my life who push me to be better push me to do better there's no envy there's no comparison there's no strife there's just an open mind i'm just two women or two or three women you know trying to do better trying to make better decisions and just be better you know there's no time um for friendships that don't add any value when you're together you're not leaving them a better version of yourself nothing is inspiring you you know friendships that you can confide in them and trust them to to be there when you need them to be i feel like i can do an entire video talking about friendship or i don't want to delve too much into it today but as far as i'm concerned when you're turning 30s and getting older and becoming wiser um the focus should be on the quality of friendship rather than the quantity of your friendship so that's my major self-improvement change that i'm making in this decade of my life okay um so the second one will be reading books scratch that not reading books let me say listening to books reading and listening to books because i understand that as women if you're a mom or a career person and you have so much going on in your life reading can be a struggle in the beginning of the year i set a goal to read about five books and guys i have only read one but i have listened to more books than reading books so whatever works for you the the crux of this is that you are improving your body of knowledge you are reading or listening to books that inspire you so they could be spiritual books or educational books or books about finances just to ensure that you're not complacent as far as acquiring knowledge is concerned so i struggle with reading books but what i've learned to do is listen to podcasts while i'm driving to work or while i'm on the train just expanding the frontiers of, of my knowledge just um and i also find that reading books also helps your vocabulary because when you become a mom and you're not you know sharpening your your brain sometimes you just realize that or more even to speak english now struggle <laughs> so just expanding your knowledge by reading and listening to books is a major way to improve yourself um and just that thirst for knowledge yeah you can only find knowledge by reading or by listening to other people's um experiences or listening to mentoring sessions on the podcast channel on the youtube channel or reading books that just open your mind and expand expand i said expand 
expand your body of knowledge so that's definitely one to take on if you've not been reading please try and start reading a few books based on your areas of interest readers are leaders like they say cool 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 um another self-improvement tip or hack i'm taking on in this years of my life um having turned 30 is to consider having multiple streams of income making smart money decisions you know i believe that you can have sources of income that are not necessarily um you having to work really hard or struggle really hard you could have passive incomes where even as you're sleeping income is being generated so aside your nine to five or aside your major business that you run you could consider doing something on the side you know just um consider monetizing your skills you know if you know how to sew or bake or whatever it is you know how to do consider that because it could bring in some extra source of income consider also making wise investment decisions you know i know that right now everybody's investing and it gets tricky and complicated so ensure that you're not making any uninformed decisions but as opposed to being very careful and just saving in the bank where you have little or no interest, you can consider investing. That will also be an extra source of income. But please make sure you have your findings. Make sure you do your research very thoroughly. But in these years of our lives, as, as women especially, it's so important to consider expanding um, your areas, your, your sources of income and just make sure that money is coming in. You never know. Um, the focus is on building long-term wealth, you know, investing in properties, investing in whatever, you know, based on your research, just consider expanding your sources of income. Don't put all your eggs into one basket. Yeah. Um, so next one I want to talk about is practicing self-care practicing self-care and i want to start with practicing skincare because um a few years ago i had major major troubles with acne and i realized it's because i wasn't taking care of my skin as much i would sleep with makeup i would not wash my face i was using the same um face wash i use for my body sorry the same wash i use for my body i also use on my face which is very wrong and i also learned over time that as you age as you get older your regenerating cells um slow down as you get older so i just took time out last year to really understand my skin and i was able to heal from severe acne so it's part of self-care because your body is aging your body is changing um your metabolism metabolism is slowing down and all that it's important to prioritize taking care of your body within and without so eating right um using the right skincare products gentle skincare products ensuring that you're aging gracefully and aging beautifully these are things to consider in your 30s when you were younger and you were a teenager or in your 20s your body didn't really care so much how you treated it but right now your body cares how you treat it so practice self-care practice getting a massage from time to time and as aside just physical self-care guarding your heart from toxicity around you protecting your sanity protecting how you feel ending relationships sometimes can be a type of self-care separating yourself from some kind of um friendships that don't make you feel good about yourself is also self-care so beyond getting a massage beyond getting your nails done beyond buying nice clothes and all of those things protecting your sanity um, taking care of your mental health is also a very critical type of self-care that we must not take for granted or you know not take seriously um i feel like even though 30s are still the prime of your life it's like the beginning of adulthood it's like the main <laughs> the main part of adulthood so it's so important that you are in the right frame of mind every time to be all that you are if that's being a mom or being a leader or being a teacher in your spheres of influence your state of mind is so important so practicing self-care um by prioritizing your mental health is a big deal is a big deal Little things can drive you crazy and you don't want to wait, wait to the point where it's on, it's on the extreme before you take it seriously. So in the beginning of, of your 30s, start thinking of the things that matter the most and put away or push aside the things that don't matter. Prioritize your mental health. Prioritize self-care. It's a big one for me and that's something I'm holding on to very strongly in my 30s. Um, so next one is, I want to talk about 
loving and accepting yourself i find that especially in this time in this generation women don't accept themselves and i don't really know why um there are things about myself that i don't really like i don't have to mention here but i know that every woman has something they don't really like about themselves but it is time to accept yourself it is time to love that unique thing about you that thing you don't like is something someone else wants <laughs> i recall speaking to a friend whose body stature i really admire she's slim she's trained no love handles like i have and i was telling her that i really love how your body looks i wish i was you know as trim as you are and she's saying no she wishes she was like me that she likes my extra flesh and all that and i'm like that's just life right some people want what you have and you don't want that thing that you have you know so just learning to accept yourself if it's a pointed nose you want and you don't have embrace your button nose or whatever kind of nose you have love yourself because god has made you in his likeness and in his image you are wonderfully and fearfully made and i don't mean that you know to sound like a cliche because it is actually true you know um your identity is what makes you unique your your flaws the, the things you think are flaws is what makes you who you are so embrace them embrace your strengths embrace your your weaknesses even as you um try to be a better person love yourself loving and accepting yourself improves your self-esteem improves your confidence don't talk down on yourself that's something i'm learning not to do i used to struggle so much with wanting to lose weight wanting to lose um the stretch marks after having kids and all that but i'm accepting myself my stretch marks are my victory my victory scars you know so i'm loving accepting embracing every single part of me and i find that since 2030 it has made me more confident in in who i am you know and more so just knowing that regardless of whatever areas of my life i consider imperfect it is who i am and these things only make me a better person and whatever i'm struggling with or the things i don't accept yet about myself is something that can bless somebody else or inspire somebody else so um this is me also sharing and encouraging you to accept and love yourself um there's no point talking down on yourself there's no point you know i find some people wanting to do reconstructive surgeries change this thing change that thing but i feel like the more you get into those things you'll never be satisfied and you just keep you might end up being addicted to surgeries and god forbid you lose your life on that table or whatever so beyond um trying to fix everything about yourself embrace it and love who you are love the changes that come with aging it's a beautiful experience even though we buy um anti-aging serums and all of that we go age everybody we age last last yeah you can try and slow it down by using chemical products and all that but do not forget the part of who you really are and that's what i'm hammering on today who you really are do not lose that okay um, yeah, so these tips so far have really helped me and if you're enjoying watching um, So far, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Okay. Um, I think I have two more to share and I will talk about Investing in yourself now. I don't want to talk about investing as by buying gold. That's a good thing I like to buy gold um, but I'm thinking more about investing investing in yourself in terms of improving improving how far you've come so if that will mean going back to school so you can get a higher paying job or doing a course an online course so just adding to your body of knowledge do something you haven't done before something that improves you mentally improves you intellectually improves you as a being you know and that 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 comes with a great feeling of accomplishment so right now i have um a mentor i admire who is she's also a coach so from time to time I, I buy her courses and just go through them and do the tests or exams that come with these courses and it just empowers me you know empowers me to take on the next challenge of life so invest in yourself and what i'm referring to particularly is intellectual um investment you know do an online course learn something new it could even be learning how to bake or learning how to sew you know just learn something new invest in yourself add to add to your body of knowledge improve or expand 
what you already know we are students for life so focus on being a student of life and for life learn new things learn new things you know develop a new skill this is something that no one can take from you somebody can steal your gold somebody can steal your apple wristwatch somebody can steal your diamond ring and all of those fancy luxury things but when you add when you add to yourself intellectually that's something no one can take away from you right so that's something i'm definitely working on you know being in my 30s and all so the last one i want to share today is something i'm holding so dear because life will always come with these different challenges right there's always something you would you know not be able to figure out there's more money to be made there's houses to be built you just want to you know keep doing all of these things that you forget to be a child you forget to enjoy life you forget to dance to laugh to sleep to play so my last point is don't lose the child within don't lose the child within there's a child inside of every old person that child that loves to laugh loves to play loves to just forget herself or himself and just enjoy life that's my final point today when last did you dance <laughs> this was me two weeks ago I was asking myself that, Bisola, you don't even dance like you used to anymore. So literally during my lunch break at work, I just locked, locked my system and I got up and played a really nice danceable music. And I started dancing in my little office room and I was laughing at myself for so long because it felt so good. It felt really good to just dance for a few minutes. So I'm encouraging you beyond being a busy mom and being there for your children and laboring and working and hustling. Like some people like to say, don't lose that child within you. Go on trips, walk in the beach, swim, do things that make you happy. The things you used to do as a young person, don't stop doing them in the name of adulting enjoy your life because it's only one right enjoy it as much as you can go on roller coasters do fancy things that children like to do even if someone will say that uh -uh, are you a baby please be a baby please be a baby that is one way to even stay healthy laughing keeps you healthy dancing keeps you healthy um traveling playing in the sand oh yes dip your feet in the sand those things that make you just laugh and giggle and be happy and be merry don't lose don't lose those moments because you think you're getting older or in your 30s and you're an adult and you have to behave yourself paint do some coloring coloring is very therapeutic by the way i took my kids i'm coloring books some weeks ago and i was coloring in it and it felt so good i did about 34 pages and i love the feeling so guys i hope you found all this um, helpful in one way or the other i'd like to hear from you what do you do what have you changed about yourself since turning 30 what are some some self-improvement um changes you've made in your life please share with me and with the others in the comment section just drop it down there i love love reading from you thank you all for your support if you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe so subscribe please give me a thumbs up and um, yeah, I'll see you on my next video. Thank you guys so much. Bye.